Hey guys, I'm Connor McElhood, and this is my slideshow of all the plants and animals that I identified. The first ecosystem that I explored was the pine flatwoods. This ecosystem is characterized by the dominance of pine in the canopy and the dominance of wiregrass on the forest floor, as well as the very flat landscape. A variety of wildlife are found in this ecosystem. Wiregrass Aristida stricta. The plant in this picture is identifiable as wiregrass due to its incredible abundance in the pine flatwoods ecosystem on the forest floor. Wiregrass is very dependent on fire and will only germinate in response to fire. Slash pine. Pinus eliotti. The pines in this pine flatwoods we visited are likely to be slash pines due to the concentration of branches near the top of the trunk. Like wiregrass, slash pine cones are serotonous, only opening in response to wildfires. Slash pines typically live for around 200 years. Saw palmetto Saranoa repens Saw palmettos are palms that remain shrubs unlike most palms which grow into trees. They are very common in Florida. Saw palmetto fruits are a food source for many different types of wildlife, including raccoons, bears, and wild pigs. Galberry, Ilex glabra. Also known as inkberries, galberries are distinguished by their brown berries and slightly serrate oval-shaped leaves. This plant is evergreen, and its berries are a good source of food for wildlife. It can also be used to make honey for people to eat. Yellow milkwort, Paligala rugulae. The yellow milkwort is noticeable for its multiple yellow, puffy petals. It is endemic to Florida's peninsula in pine flatwoods. Partridge pea, Chemicrista fasciculata. The partridge pea has five unevenly shaped petals and pinnately compound leaves that look somewhat like ferns. The flower also has red marks on the middle or the inside. Partridge peas are toxic to animals like cow cattle, although other animals like deer can eat them. Fringed meadow beauty, Rexia petiolata. There are many plants of the genus Rexia found in Florida. However, only the fringed meadow beauty in the field guide had the four petaled red flowers below the main flower shown in my picture. The fringed meadow beauty prefers wet habitats, which includes some pine flatwoods. The love bug, Plesia neartica. The love bug is a very recognizable insect in Florida by its black body and red bumps on its thorax. Male love bugs are smaller than females and will attach to the female love bugs when they're mating. Pinewoods tree frog, Hyla femoralis. The pinewoods tree frog has a grayish white body with a large black stripe on the sides of their heads. Pinewoods tree frogs like to climb pine trees and use plants for cover, and they lay their eggs in shallow water. Daytona moth caterpillar of the genus Daytona. The caterpillars shown in the pictures are larvae of the Daytona moth. They are identifiable by their black and yellow striped bodies and their red ventral side. Daytona moth caterpillars can feed on oak trees. Flower crab spiders. Genus Mechaphasa. This spider likely belongs to the genus Mechaphasa, a genus of crab spiders. It is a yellow body with a round abdomen and black stripes. Flower crab spiders do not make webs to hunt, instead preferring to hide on flowers in order to ambush pollinators such as bees and flies. Carolina Mantis Stagma Mantis Carolina This praying mantis is likely to be a Carolina Mantis due to its brown coloration. The Carolina mantis is native to the eastern USA. This praying mantis uses its raptorial forelegs to catch smaller prey like flies. Females are larger than males, and in some cases, the female praying mantis will eat the male praying mantis's head off 
during or after mating. The next ecosystem we visited was the Florida scrubland. The scrub ecosystem is very dry and sandy. Species like Florida rosemary can be dominant in this ecosystem. Scrubby oaks are also prevalent in this ecosystem, as seen in the picture of the scrub landscape. Sand pine. Pinus clausa. This pine tree is most likely a sand pine. Branches can be seen going all the way down the trunk, which is a characteristic displayed by sand pines. It is also likely to be a sand pine because sand pines are able to tolerate the dry, sandy conditions of the scrub ecosystem. Sand pines usually live for around 70 years. In addition to dry conditions, sand pines can also be very tolerant to shade. Myrtle oak, Quercus myrtifolia. Myrtle oaks are oak shrubs found in scrublands. They can be identified by their entire leaf margins and spatulate blade shape. Myrtle oaks are very small compared to other oak trees like the live oak. Sand live oak, Quercus geminata. The sand live oak looks similar to myrtle live oaks. However, the leaf shape is much thinner than myrtle oaks and the sides of the blades also appear to curve inward somewhat. Sand live oaks are found all throughout Florida except for the very southern part of the peninsula and some areas to the southwest of Lake Okeechobee. Chapman's Oak, Quercus chapmani. Chapman's Oak is similar to the aforementioned oak species, but has a more cupsidate tip compared to the obtuse tips of the myrtle and sand live oak. Chapman's Oak also has a smaller distribution than the sand live oak, since it is not found in some northern parts of Florida. Florida Rosemary, Ceratiola ericoides. The Florida Rosemary is common in scrubland and has a circular leaf blade that points straight up. Florida Rosemary shrubs tend to be dominant in the most dry of the scrub ecosystems. Prickly Pear Cactus, Oputia mesocantha. Prickly Pear Cacti tend to have very flat pads with needles. Prickly pears can grow edible fruit. These cacti have larger spines for preventing animals from eating them and smaller, fine, smaller spines that reflect sun from its pads. Turkey oak, Quercus laevis. Turkey oak leaves have a thin, somewhat palmate blade. Their name comes from the fact that their leaf shape looks like a turkey's foot. They tend to grow in sandy soils. Fee's prairie clover, Dahlia fee. Fee's prairie clover are common in sandy soils. Their petals are light purple with orange tips at the end. This flower can grow up to 24 inches tall. Florida scrub jay, Aphelicoma coriusens. This scrub jay is the only species that resides in Florida. It's endemic to Florida scrubs. Scrub jays rely on consistent fires to decrease the density of vegetation and allow them to hunt for prey. Autumn meadowhawk, Sympetrum vicinum. Autumn meadowhawks have a black and yellow striped thorax and abdomen with orange wings and eyes. Dragonflies are beneficial for ecosystems due to their tendency to hunt for flies and mosquitoes. Blue Dasher. Pachydiplax longipanes. Blue dashers usually have blue bodies and compound eyes, or a black and white striped body with blue eyes, depending on the dragonfly's gender. The dragonfly pictured here is female due to its black and white body. Dragonflies have a fully aquatic larval stage before they take to the skies as adults. Six lined race runner. Sanimido forest sexlinatus. This lizard can be confused with a blue tongued skink due to its blue tail in, in juvenile stages, but the six line race runner is much smaller and has six stripes on its dorsal side. This lizard is very active in hot weather, but goes underground when it's cold or dark. Black and yellow garden spider, Argio orantia. This large spider has a white thorax and a black and yellow striped abdomen. Its legs are also black and yellow striped. 
These spiders trap prey such as flies and butterflies in their webs and then paralyze their prey with venom. Southern Two-Stripe Walking Stick Genus Anisomorpha This stick insect belongs to the genus Anisomorpha. It can be identified by its thick body and its black and white stripes. These stick insects can launch fluids from their thorax that are very irritating in order to deter predation. The final ecosystem I explored was a basic hardwood hammock. These hammocks are very dense and have many broad-leafed evergreen trees. Fires are much rarer in this ecosystem compared to pine flatwoods and scrubs. Turkey Tangle Frog Fruit Phyla nautiflora This flower is very small and can be distinguished by a dark purple center with a few tiny white petals. Turkey Tangle Frog Fruit is very common in Florida and is only absent from one Floridian county. American Beauty Berry Calicarpa americana. American beauty berry is easily identical in basic hardwood hammocks for its purple berries. Its seeds are distributed by animals that eat their fruit, such as birds and deer. Live oak, Quercus virginiana. These giant trees are frequently found forming the canopy of hardwood forests. They are easy to identify due to their massive size and large sprawling branches. Many epiphytes like Spanish moss grow on the live oak's branches. Caesar weed, Urena lobata. These plants have very orbicular shaped leaves with cuspidate tips and can grow very tall. They also have pink flowers. These plants are invasive to Florida and are originally from more tropical regions. Spray Butterfly Pea, Centrosema virginiana. The flower of the spurred butterfly pea can be identified by its light purple coloration and distinguished petal shape, with a spot of white at the center of the flower petals. This flower is widely distributed across Florida, and despite the name, is not typically pollinated by butterflies. Sweet Gum, Liquid Amber, Styraciflua. The sweet gum tree is common in hardwood forests and identified by its very palmate leaf shape with five apices. Sweet gum trees are deciduous and shed their leaves during autumn. Chapman's Goldenrod, Solidago chapmani. Although most goldenrod species tend to live in coastal environments, this goldenrod can be found in basic hardwood forests and pine flatwoods. Leavenworth's goldenrod is also found in similar ecosystems, but the goldenrod pictured is likely a Chapman's goldenrod because it has mar entire margins on its leaves. Edison St. John's wort, Hypercium edisonianum. This flower is likely an Edison St. John's wort due to the opposite leaf arrangement. It also has more narrow petals than other members of the Hypercium genus. This plant is endangered in Florida due to wetland drainage and habitat loss. Cabbage Palm, Sable Palmetto. These palm trees have a very jagged, pointy trunk and flabulate leaves. The leaves of this plant's immature stage are edible. Spiny Orb Weaver, Gastroacantha cancriformis. The spiny orb weaver is easily identified by its white, black spotted abdomen and red spines. These brightly colored spines display aposematism, which is coloration that indicates an animal is venomous or poisonous. Florida box turtle, Terrapine carolina bowery. This subspecies of box turtle is found in the eastern USA and is the only species of box turtle that lives in Florida. These box turtles lose the markings on their shells as they get older. Short-winged green grasshopper, Dichromorpha viridis. This grasshopper is very small and has two distinct colorations, one of which is the green and brown striped grasshopper pictured. They are very common in eastern North America. And finally, we have the turkey vulture, Cathartes aura. 
Turkey vultures are very large and have white feathers on the ventral side of their wings when viewing them from below. In addition, turkey vultures have red, fe red heads that have no feathers covering them up. Turkey vultures ride thermal air currents to soar around and look for dead animals to scavenge on.